is or what is meant by the Son of God as well as the Son of Man? Now, this is a pretty difficult question and probably bears me having to do a more in-depth study, but because people oftentimes use these two words without quite knowing what they are, I just wanted to give a quick little uh, lesson over what these words actually mean. Most people, when they refer to the Son of God or Son of Man, they tend to kind of uh, exchange both of the meanings for the other meaning, meaning this. Most would say, or many would say, that the Son of Man would refer to Jesus' uh, humanity, whereas the Son of God would refer to his divinity. So starting with the Son of God, it actually has different meanings depending upon its context. And so what it actually refers to, especially in the Old Testament, is, is really God's workers. For example, his angels uh, are called sons of God. And there are times where you'll see his followers, human beings, called also sons of God, even in the New Testament. And so what we want to talk about is not those times when the Bible refers to the sons of God, but uh, when it refers to with the article, the definite article, the, the Son of God. What does that term mean? Well, the Son of God doesn't mean son in the sense of a father and son's relationship or uh, a child of someone that one was produced by the other. No, it is, a, it is from the genitive of, meaning this. Son of God would refer to a representative of God, someone who's doing the work of God. And more to the point, he's doing the work that only God can do, such as forgiving, such as creating the world. It says that he alone, God, receives worship, but so too does Jesus. Uh, you see terms that kind of synonymize the two, such as both being called father or judge uh, or the beginning and the end. And so then we look at Matthew where we see the term son of God as well as the term son of man kind of being both brought together. So let's go there real quick to Matthew 26, verse 63 and 64. After the high priest asked him a question, Jesus, verse 63, kept silent. And the high priest answered and said to him, I put you under oath by the living God. Tell us if you are the Christ, the son of God. Jesus said to him, it is as you said. Nevertheless, I say to you, hereafter you will see the Son of Man sitting on the right hand of power and coming on the cloud of heaven. Notice how the Jews equate Son of God with the Christ or Messiah. Why? Because to them, that's what the Son of God is. So now we're starting to get a little bit of a picture as to what the Son of God means. But then Jesus equates the two with the Son of Man. Now, the Son of Man happens to be Jesus' most favorite term of himself. Well, where does that term come from? Let's go back to Daniel 7, where the term is first found in the Bible. In Daniel chapter 7, verses 13, you see Daniel speaking, and he sees this vision. And look what he says. I was watching in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man, coming with the clouds of heaven, he came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him before him. Look at verse 14. Then to him was given dominion and glory and a kingdom that all peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. And his kingdom, the one which shall not be destroyed. So we see Son of Man referring to Jesus as divine Messiah. And, and then we see the Son of God referring to Jesus' work. So what works do we see of Jesus? Well, him as the Messiah, him as the Christ, him as the Savior. And so in a sense, the Son of Man and Son of God, they can almost in some cases be considered interchangeable, almost like the way Jesus kind of uh, made the two synonymous in Matthew 26. Son of God refers to Jesus' work as Savior. Does it refer to his divinity? Absolutely. Does Son of Man refer to his humanity? Yeah, it does. But they both refer also to his divinity. So, what does Son of Man mean? Son of Man refers to Jesus' div divine nature as Messiah. Son of God refers to Jesus' divine working powers as Savior. Do they sound similar? It's because they are.